Hello everyone, welcome to day 14 of the speaking challenge. In this video I'm going to talk about my problem with academic writing, I'm referring to the uh, presentation um, and what I can say. Um, to be honest, I know nothing about academic writing and everything you have read so far in my writing it's uh, all about i don't know probably my intuition and a vacation to writing because nobody and no one never taught me to different uh, writing rules uh, like grammar or mm, uh, punctuation marks um, and um, my weakest points mm, i'm going to talk about my weakest points and of course, for me, as uh, for many non-speaker students, it's a big problem. Grammar. Grammar is a big problem, especially verbs and tenses. And of course, articles, because I think articles are directly uh, linked to the singular and uh, plural and countable and uncountable forms of nouns. Because sometimes... Um, Mm, we have to we have to use articles sometimes we don't have to I mean related to these forms of nouns and I don't know it's very confusing for me I would like to know like some tricks or keynotes how to memorize it easier in uh, which situations uh, I have to use those articles and or I don't have to use them at all and of course prepositions. For me as a Russian uh, speaker it's a big big problem because in Russian it's like with um, tenses we have just uh, three tenses uh, like um, past, uh, then present and future, just three and the same with prepositions. And for me it's very confusing for example to understand in which um, context I have to use uh, for or um, for example to and with because for for me it's just one preposition or for example of and about for me it's just one preposition uh, in which uh, context I have to say for example I think of or I, I think about um, then uh, Another interesting point, point about uh, verbs, it's a phrasal verbs, uh, because as I know in academic writing it's prohibited completely to use phrasal verbs, but at the same time reading different articles and books I found that there are a lot of uh, phrasal verbs uh, uh, put in, uh, in those articles, um, I mean writing articles, written articles and books and sometimes it's so confusing to understand in which context I can use phrasal verb and in which I cannot. So I would like to learn about that more of course, it's very interesting. And the last point uh, of today, uh, today's topic is related to abbreviations. It's something new for me completely uh, and I know nothing about that. And for example, acronym, acronyms and uh, initializations are the same for me. They look like abbreviations. What's the difference between NASA and MBTI, for example? I know nothing about that. And then shorten, how to say, I'm sorry, I have to take a look. Shorten, shorted, shortened, shortened forms. I, I, I know nothing, absolutely nothing about that. And I would like to um, know and learn more about it. I think um, it will be really helpful for my academic writing because I would like to try uh, to challenge myself uh, in this field as well. And I don't know, I can't remember uh, exactly right now what I would like to learn in terms of um, these questions and points but if I remember of course I'll let you know guys um, and this is it
for today. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.